Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at an older oracle deck called the Finhorn Spirit Oracle Cards. It's been out about a year. Um, it was released March 2022 and we are now in April of 2023. So uh, a year and two months. Uh, it's called Finhorn Spirit Oracle Cards, written and illustrated by Swan Treasures. And this was sent to me um, to review uh, by Finhorn Press. That's the publisher, Finhorn. Here we go. Finhorn Press. And the deck is actually named after their company because uh, this deck was created after a conference that they had where they connected with the uh, the spirit uh, elemental so let's uh, read the back really quick so you know the history behind it uh, offering support and practical guidance for daily life these 44 oracle cards emerge in close partnership with the subtle realms at finhorn each card depicts a spirit being as they chose to reveal themselves through touch drawing so as to pass on wisdom to help us navigate these times of transition. A longer message connected to the essence of the elemental can be found in the accompanying booklet, which also offers suggestions for a spiritual practice to open communication and engage more deeply with the nature spirits. Following the directions of the medicine wheel, the cars function as energy activators and assist us in, de in deepening our connection with the divine, a potent tool for self-discovery and healing. This deck brings joy and light to your path. And it's by Swan uh, Treasure, that's the artist, mentor, and system systemic constellator and a transformation uh game guy she lives in the finhorn community scotland all right so that's who it's by swan treasure no it's in a hard case two-part box no thumb hole cut out but it's not too hard to open just lies open red inner lining and then here's the guidebook. And um, here's the inside of the card. And it is based on the uh, Native American medicine wheel following the different directions, north, south, east, west. And um, these drawings uh, was created through a meditative technique called touch drawing. And I thought it was pretty cool. No pencils or brushes were used while drawing, only the touch of hands and fingernails on tissue paper placed on a board on top of colors. Many of these, uh, many of the spirit beings who were invited during that time to actively participate in co-creation with humans made themselves available and accessible. All right, so um, if you connect with the elemental realms, the, um, you know, the spirit divas of plants, animals, nature, you may resonate with this stack. So here is the back of the cards. It's lined with paper. And these are, I guess, all the different symbols. It is uh, laminated, as you can see, not gilded. Comparing it to a... Uh, traditional plaid back tarot card it is taller and wider comparing it to a hay house angel card it's about the same so it's about the same size as a hay house or angel oracle card and let's go ahead and it's not gilded go ahead and take a look at the cards so the images at first you know if you don't know what you're looking at it seems kind of weird and almost a little like spooky but then when you read about it and realize how these are spirit, spirit beings, that this is how they chose to reveal themselves. And the author, <coughs> excuse me, was in a meditative state. 
Sorry, I had to get a sip of water. I had a Bisconte dip in coffee before I turn on the, uh, before I start recording. I should know not to eat. <laughs> before, last time I had peanuts before I start recording, I start coughing. So I'm not sick or anything. I just had some uh, dry biscotti dip in coffee. All right. Not that you need to know that, but I was coughing, so I didn't want anyone to think I was sick or anything. Okay, so so I thought it was very interesting. It looks a little spooky at first, but when you realize this was just done through a meditative state, through that finger drawing, and these are how the spirit, you know, re reveal themselves. I thought that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at it. Conception in cooperation with the subtle worlds, all are equally respected. Change. Everything is constantly changing all as well. Now, this one looks alien-like, doesn't it? It's kind of wild. Awakening. Open your eyes and see the door is open. Walk through. This one seems floral-like. Like, they each have their own personality, right? Their own energy. Delicacy. Every seed knows the secret of life. Very interesting. Harmony. The last, the last person, the last personally a situation is approached, the more harmonious it becomes. Tenderness. The heart is perfectly aware and perfectly receptive. This feels more like fairy energy. Trust. When love is at work, step out of the way. Precision. Sense the divine in everything. Generosity. Be generous with yourself. Life is a gift. Abundance, arise, live in expanded awareness. Appreciation, the key to all life is gratitude. This is more like a plant energy. Joy, preserve the joy in your heart so that the world knows this is possible. Service, live extraordinary well. Live extraordinary well. Live a fulfilling life. This is your service. Suttonance. Put your hands and feet in the earth. It will make you feel good. Freedom. The value of its fullness is in the present moment. Interesting. That has a little bit like cat-like feature. Fulfillment. Engage yourself fully. There are no second chances. Assurance. Give it time. All the time that is needed. That's interesting. I don't see a face. Oh, it's down here. The face is down here. See? Huh. Confidence. Stop believing your doubts. Oh, that's a good message. Love, that which is found and that which is finding are one. Stability, do not get distracted. Stabilize the attention in the heart. Wonder, spiritual discovery is a love affair with life. Boundaries, everything transforms when borders are crossed. Purity, ask and your deep soul will answer. Awareness, commit to see and you will see. This, this, this has more of a Native American feel. Clarity, enjoy the freedom of an open mind. Courage. Take what you have and live it.
initiation, attend to the light in your eyes and the fire in your spirit. Intimacy, the true meaning happens in the now. Intuition, everything reflects the heart like a clear cosmic mirror. That has cat energy too. Self-love, see the essential nature in all beings. Alchemy, breathe well and learn to love. This is enough. So there's a message here about love. This has Kuan Yin energy a little bit. Compassion. Everyone's heart is beating. Soften. Do not sabotage love. Speaking of uh, Kuan Yin, she's known for compassion. Dignity. Live your true essence. Rejuvenation. Your fire is on cherish it tend to it interesting look at this wow they look like cougars cougar energy victory the warrior within uses resistance to awaken healing say yes to life and choose to grow Well, it is the nature kingdom, so a lot of them are animal-like. A lot are like cougar, panther, cat-like energy. This is another one that's like cat-like energy. Wow. Trans trans transcendence. It is not personal. Drama is unnecessary. Belonging. Come to recognize your true place. Let's have a Buddha feel to it. Defensiveness. Love reveals all perspective. It does not take size. This is more plant-like energy. The face in there. Integrity. There is nothing outside of you. That's a good message too. Resourcefulness. Pool of personal existence is shallow. Dive into the eternal ocean of life. Vitality. Stand in the strength of your love. Storytelling. You are the script, the stage, the actor, and the script writer. This one feels really old, like they're an old, old soul. Has the extraterrestrial feel to it. Blessings. Let your presence be a blessing. This has fairy light energy. Very interesting, you guys. The nature spirit. So let's take a look at the guidebook. Copyright 2022 to Dorothy. She was uh, one of the founders, yeah, co-founder, and uh, she's passed now in 2020, but she originally communicated with these uh, beings in the garden. I read a little bit from the guidebook. So there's the contents. Uh, the medicine wheel, practice of tuning into frequency, how to use the cards, the meaning of special cards parlays layouts and types of reading and then the cars are broken up so they have the portal of the east because remember i said it follows the shamanic uh shaman system where it's the wheel the medicine wheel so there's the portal of the east and then the portal of the, of the south so all the directions portal of the west portal of the north the realms above and the realms below, blessings, epilogue. A little bit about touch drawing, how they, you know, that's what they use to draw these uh, in a meditative state. So I read some of this, so it's very interesting. The medicine wheel, 
talks a little bit about that. How to use these cards. Consecrate your deck. Opening a reading. Closing a reading. The meaning of special cards. The portal of the east. Change, awakening, delicacy. Harmony, tenderness, trust, position. Portal of the south. Generosity, abundance, appreciation, joy, service, sentence, freedom. Portal of the West, Fulfillment, Assurance, Confidence, Love, Stability, Wonder, Boundaries, Portal of the North, Purity, Awareness, Clarity, Courage, Initiation, Intimacy, Intuition. So the Oracle consists of six sets of seven cards each. So six sets, seven cards each. Each set represents a gathering of spirit beings associated with one of the medicine wheels, portals of the East, the South the west and the north, or with the directions above and below, the realms above, self-love, alchemy, compassion, dignity, rejuvenation, victory, healing, the realms below, transcendence, belonging, defensiveness, integrity, resourcefulness, vitality, storytelling. Some of the spirit beings represented in these cars have made it clear that they are not connected to places in the land around Finehorn moving and inhabiting a certain area while others have not these spirit guys have come together to form a specific alliance to serve the purpose of this deck the deck is opened by a card that represents the presence of the landscape angel and closed by a card that represents the presence of the angel of fine horn these are beings of light that hold the energy of the spiritual feel of the community as well as over lighting the life of the land in which the Finehorn community is set. When the landscape angel appears in your reading, it blesses the opening of a conversation flow with the spirit beings of nature and reminds you that the time for an honest and transformative conversation has come. When the angel of Finehorn appears, it brings overflowing grace gifts from the spirit realms it reminds you of the blessing that you are you are when you live your life consciously. Within each set of seven cards, there are three significant cards. One card represents a garden spirit. These are the guardian of the waterfall, the guardian of substance, the guardian of currents, the guardian of timelessness, the guardian of transmutation, and the guardian of the wild grasses. When one of them appears in your reading, know that a new cycle is opening. For an insight about its quality, quality refer to the message of the card you picked. One card represents a potential turning point in your life. These cards are called parting of the veil, soul tribe entering the temple, crossing the threshold, meeting the magician medicine making. When one of these cards appears in your reading, it brings empowerment and a new sense of self, as well as awareness in life-changing situations. One card represents a spirit being akin to an animal or a flower. See, that's what I noticed. Some of them were more floral light, like plants, and some of them were like animals, uh, more cats energy. These are butterfly spirit cat spirit yep i did see cat spirit horse spirit snake spirit daffodil spirit and white rose spirit when these cards appear in your reading it means that a deep healing is taking place a new consciousness is emerging allow it and let these spirit beings support its unfolding card layout so they give you different layouts I have a relationship reading, a year ahead reading, and then the card messages. You get a black and white color picture of the card, and then a little bit about the card, focus, and then there's a practice section. So let's uh, shuffle. 
and pick a card. I didn't consecrate them yet, but let me do it really quick. I like to just draw my Reiki symbols and let me say a quick prayer. All right, so I just said a quick prayer and calling on my guys and angels. Ah, change. That one seemed like it wanted to come out in conception. I didn't have to shuffle too much clarity. All right, so let's do this change. So we're going to use this as an example. Oh, by the way, in the back of the book, oh, there's a there's a little bit about the author and there's a car index. So you can look it up that way. All right. So change guardian of currents of the currents, page 56. Let's see what's the message. Portal of the East, morning, spring, new beginning, intellect, germination, invitation, divine child, future. Change. So this is what we're reading, all right? Guardian of the currents. So, and then the keywords in the cards, everything is constantly changing, all is well. I am the guardian of the currents. I birth the winds of change, let go of trying to control the flow of life away from chaos. In it is infinite creativity. Let it happen. Let it all happen and keep breathing. Allow yourself to be to stop doing. Let the doing be done for you so that everything will naturally find its perfect order. Trust that you have a perfect place in the greater design and that you always will. When a system is adjusting and rebalancing, do not resist a new emerging reality. Wow, you guys, this is very perfect for our times right now because things are changing in the world rapidly. How synchronistic is this? So let me repeat the last sentence. When a system is adjusting and rebalancing, do not resist a new emerging reality everything is useful there are no mistakes all of the all of existence is filled with space this is also our ultimate reality and the wings that give us freedom become aware of the spaciousness between things people moments honor the way of the unknown the mysterious and the divine the way in which everything is constantly changing. The focus section is letting go of control, spaciousness, emergence. And then the practice section is connect with the element of air, feel the air entering and leaving your physical body, imagine or sense yourself as a hollow flute that the universe is playing and begin to emit a small sound. Let new energy enter you and be expressed through you in sounds. Let go of the doing and simply let the voice be moved by the breath. Allow the sound to change. Explore different tones. Enjoy this until the experience naturally comes to a pause. Then start again until you feel the sound of your voice is no longer needed and you enter deep peace. Notice what changed. Wow. So that's it. And then this was just the conception card. I believe that was the very first card, but it kind of wanted to flip with it. So let's read that too. The landscape angel, know that you didn't come into existence by pure chance. You were conceived before you were made in a moment of magnificent potential and all of the natural forms around you were designed by infinite intelligence. Connect with me. 
I bring you the invitation to remember the original impulse that called you into being on this planet and to actualize the dream to which you belong. I promise to keep sustaining you as you courageously walk your path. Wow. Thank you for your deep listening, for your willingness to co-create with the spirit realms and to live intentionally. Much work is needed to rebalance a natural system that has been upset by human delusions of grandeur and much play too. The soul's yearning to self-expression is alive in every breath you take. Share the gifts you bring. Share your uniqueness. Together, let's consciously manifest the destiny of humankind. The focus is dialogue, co-creation, self-expression. The practice is go for a walk in nature. Breathe deeply. Fill your lungs with fresh air. Find a quiet place where you will not be disturbed and in your own way, ask the landscape angel of your area to connect with you. Then simply stand wherever you are, opening for connection with your environment. When you are ready, gently, softly whisper your name as if you were introducing yourself to the subtle realms. Play with different ways of saying your name until you feel you have been heard. Then stop and wait for an answer, which may come in many forms, a sound, a physical sensation, words. There you go. Very interesting. So we can all connect uh, with the landscape angel in our area. What does this say? Through the portal of the east, we access illumination. The sun that brings the bright beginning of a new day comes from the east. And with it come inspiration, new ideas, deep brilliance. The seeds are germinating here and new life is emerging. This is the place where the innocence and delight of our inner child can find its curious expression. So that's portal of the East. This was just the conception, the beginning. And then the change was, see, I forgot already what the change 56, what portal was the change? Oh, it was part of the East morning, spring, new beginning, intellect germination. Yep. Yep. So we have the card from the East part of the East. All right, so that gives you an idea of the deck and uh, and how to use it. And uh, if you connect with it, if you like fairy energies, if you like nature, um, you know, connecting with nature. Um, and if you resonate with it, you might want to uh, consider this deck. It doesn't look glamorous and it looks kind of weird, but now that you understand, you know, this is from pink uh, touch drawing through meditation, it may make a little, you know, better, more sense. So hopefully you enjoy that. I thought that was very interesting. Very, very interesting and a very workable deck. This is more, you can use it for divination. But I think this is more like personal growth, self growth, uh, weekly or daily draw, you know, for yourself to work on. So anyway, but you can use it however many different ways. But that's it just feels more like that to me than divination, although you can use it for divination, as you can see all the spreads. Um, and I can't remember. I was so excited. <laughs> I can't remember if I gave a shout out to Finhorn. Press. I think I did, but it was them that sent me the stack uh, to review. So if I didn't, then thank you, Finhorn Press, for sending this to me to review. I appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for watching. As usual, I will put the links in the description underneath the video for those who are interested in reading more about it or purchasing it. Um, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.